So hello everyone, my name is Marcia Barros, I'm from Portugal and I'm here to present the work Hybrid Semantic Recommender Systems for Chemical Compounds. The main problem identified for this work are the existence of a large number of chemical compounds and a shortage in the use of recommender systems in this field, probably because there are a few data sets with the preference of the users about this topic. Recommender systems may be a solution for finding items of interest in these datasets. Nevertheless, some datasets has emerged in the last years, allowing us to test new hypotheses about the recommendation of chemical compounds. Her hypothesis in this work is that by using semantic similarity between the chemical compounds, the results of state-of-the-art collaborative filtering algorithms can be improved. So, recommender systems are, uh, by definition, software tools and techniques that provide suggestions for items that are most likely of interest to a particular user. These systems are widely used in platforms such as Amazon, Netflix and Spotify. The main approaches in recommender systems are collaborative filtering, which is based in similarity between the ratings of the several users of a system, content-based, which is based in the features of the items being recommended, and hybrids, assembling collaborative filtering and content-based. All the approaches depend on information about the preference of the users, usually in the form of ratings. These ratings may be explicit, for example through a 5 stars classification systems, or implicit, where the preferences of the users are collected from their activities, for example, from clicking on an item. The model proposes on this work is a hybrid recommender system which receives as input a set of rated items and a set of unrated items, which goal is to rate, organize into a ranked list and recommend this list to a user. The model consists in a collaborative filtering module and a content-based module. In the collaborative filtering, we tested two state-of-the-art algorithms, alternating list squares and Bayesian personalized ranking approach both methods suitable for datasets of implicit feedback. From collaborative filtering module through ALS or BPR, we obtain a score for each unrated item. For the content-based module, we develop a new algorithm called ONTO, based on ontologies. Ontologies are related vocabularies of terms and definitions for a specific field of study. For this study, we used CABI, the chemical entities of biological interest ontology, a dictionary of molecular entities. Looking at CABI, for example, if we are interested in the compound caffeine, the ontology provides a large amount of information, as well as a graph network with the connections to other compounds. The ontology allows to calculate the semantic similarity between the chemical compounds, working as the features of our items. So, following the example, in the figure, for a given user who likes items 2, 3 and 4, and we want to find a score for item 1, which was not yet rated by the user, first, the ONTO algorithm calculates the similarity between item 1 and items 2, 3 and 4, um, and second, the algorithm calculates the mean of the similarities of this score assigned to item 1. For this work, we used the lean similarity measure because it has a range from 0 to 1 and it is easy to organize from the most similar to the least similar. The final score of the hybrid uh, model for each item is a multiplication of the score obtained from ALS or BPR and the score obtained by the ONTO algorithm. For this experiment, we use the subset of a dataset called CURM, the Chemical Recommender Matrix. This is a standard dataset of user item rating where the users are the authors of research papers and the items are chemical compounds in CABI and the ratings are the number of papers an author wrote about an item. We use the subset with approximately 1000 users, 100 items and 5.5 thousand ratings. The evaluation of the algorithms was made offline, based on classification accuracy metrics, such as precision, recall and F-measure, which allows to evaluate 
the relevant and irrelevant items recommended in a list and rank accuracy metrics such as mean reciprocal rank, normalized at discounted cumulative gain and limited area under the curve, which allow us to evaluate the ability of the algorithm for recommending the items in the correct order. This is, the most relevant should be in the first positions. For this work, we evaluated ALS, BPR and ONTO algorithms alone and the hybrids between ALS and ONTO and BPR and ONTO. As we can see by the plots, the ONTO algorithm in green achieved the lowest results in all metrics. However, it follows the trend of the other algorithms. This table shows the best values for each algorithm. The hybrid algorithms achieved the best results with the highest improvement in the mean reciprocal rank metric from ALS to ALS onto, with an improvement of approximately 6%. This result suggests that combining collaborative filtering with onto, it will reorder the items moving the more relevant to the top positions of our ranked list. So concluding, the results of this study support our hypothesis that the use of semantic similarity improves the results of state-of-the-art collaborative filtering algorithms. However, these are just preliminary results and we need to increase the data set, test with other similarity metrics besides lean uh, metric, and to test other alternatives to calculate the final score for each item. Thank you.